Hi and welcome back to a new beginner video. Today I'll show you how to create some cute textures by just using a 2x2 cable as your main technique. If you would like to support my channel, you will find me on Patreon at patreon.com slash netology one times one. I make at least one extra video every month there, sometimes two depends. I have developed two new techniques after filming the how to knit paired cables and braids videos and patrons are able to download charts and written instructions for these techniques. Thank you so much to everyone who is already supporting me. If you are not sure how to knit a cable, I will show you. You will need to use two transfer tools. You will be putting these four stitches that will form your cable onto your transfer tools like so and you will basically twist the stitches. You can now decide in which order you want to twist the stitches. You will learn later how this will impact your design. I am right handed and if I'm just doing a regular cable, I will cross the right side tool first. So in this video, I will be mentioning which tool will cross first so I can make it easier for you to follow. So we have just made a cable and in this cable, the right side tool crossed first. In this first example, I will show you how alternating which tool will go first will impact the outcome of your cable. I will transfer one stitch each side of the four stitches that will form the cable and will leave them out of action to form a ladder both sides of my cable. This will make your cable be more pronounced. So for the cable on the left side of the screen, I will always cross the right side tool first. For the cable on the right side of the screen, I will alternate this. I just have completed my first cable and now I will be knitting 6 rows. Always pull the needles that form the cable all the way out or into D position before knitting any rows. For the next one, I will continue this cable as before, but for this one, I will cross the left side tool first. So before we crossed like this, and now we will do the opposite. Again, knit 6 rows. Repeat this for as long as you want your sample. This is how it will look and you can definitely see a difference. You can try knitting 4 rows in between to see what that looks like. 
This particular sample is knitted in cotton yarn and I believe that cables look the nicest in a wool after they've been washed. For the next design, I will have to apologize for being so late with this video. I used this technique for a scarf that you saw in how to add fringes video. Some people were curious to know how to do those cables and here I am, you ask and I deliver. This is actually much more simple than you think. I will begin by skipping the four stitches on the edge and form a cable. I will now skip two stitches and form another cable. We'll be doing this across. Knit 4 rows. For the next set of cables, you will go 2 stitches to the right. So before you skipped 4 stitches from the edge and you did your first cable, now skip 6 stitches and form the next cable. And then again, skip two stitches and form another cable and continue this across. You can continue this for how long you need and with every set of cables go two stitches farther apart from the edge, always leaving two stitches in between every cable. In this sample you can see how I got here a different texture and I will show you how simple it is to do that. So in the previous set of cables, I crossed the right side tool first. For this next one, I will cross the left side tool first. Knit 4 rows again and travel 2 more stitches to the right and do another set of cables, this time crossing the right side tool first. And repeat alternating that with every set of cables. One set of cables you cross the right side tool first, one set of cables you cross the left side tool first. Thank you. 
In this last example, I will show you how to do this texture across the entire sample without getting an angle. Cast on a multiple of four number of stitches. Skip two stitches at the edge and form cables just like we did before with two stitches in between across. Continue traveling as we've done before until you have 8 stitches from the edge. And you will notice that at this point you will again have two stitches on the right side edge. Then you will be able to form a new cable on the left side. Now you are back where you were when you began the sample. Just keep repeating that. And that is everything for today. I hope this video was helpful and you've learned something new or at least got inspired. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Elena and I'll see you next time.